Big traffic news in the morning. The diverging diamond going in at JTB in San Pablo. So this is going to be a different than what people are used to, especially those of you headed towards Mayo this morning. So really make sure you are following the signs and you are being careful. But hopefully you won't see the big backup onto JTB like we've seen for basically the last year while this has been under construction. Our Renata Di Gregorio is out there. She's driving through this to kind of give you the nice view of how it's going to work. Hey, good morning, Katie. Yeah, we're seeing a little bit more traffic now that people are kind of waking up, getting to work, but we're about to drive through it here. You'll see here there's still orange cones all the place. We've got some police lights, but when you come up onto the first light, and here we are, we're heading away from Mayo. You go around kind of a larger than normal median, and then under the light, here's where it gets weird. It might feel like you're going into oncoming traffic, but you're not. Just follow the road, follow all the signs. There are some don't turn here signs, especially look out for those and this time we're going to take a left up onto JTB heading toward the beaches and this is where these really, really come in handy because you see we don't have to go to stoplight and then turn left we can just go right onto it we're already there but if we weren't going to do that we kind of would weave again around to the other side of the road it makes sort of what looks like a part of a chain and a link if you look at it that way but let's also take a look at some of this drone video we got yesterday so this is from before it opened but you can see it a little better from above just the shape of everything there are fewer left turns and that's really part of what makes it safer fdot reporting these traffic patterns can cut the number of crashes in half. Regular diamond interchanges have 26 conflict points and a conflict point is just where they're more likely to have crashes. But the diverging diamond interchanges, which of course we just did, have almost half that number of 14, so they are safer. So you've seen this before. If you've been on Route 200 in Nassau County, there's a diverging diamond there along 95 and Route 200. We'll tell you a little bit more about where we might be able to expect to see some more of these coming in Duval because it's the first one, but there will be more, and that's coming up. Renato Di Gregorio live on the road. First Coast News on your side.